Ukrainian forces are accelerating their territorial advances into Russian-held areas. It's all happened so quickly in just a matter of weeks. With us now, retired Army Major General James Spider Marks, CNN military analyst and head of geopolitical strategy at Academy Security. Spider, the pace of what Ukraine has been able to do. Explain this. Yeah, it's quite phenomenal, John. Let me, um, let me do this. First of all, I want you to concentrate for a second to this area and this area. Let me show you what has happened over the course of the last month. I'll run that one more time. So backing up, clearly this is what the Ukrainians saw a month ago, about a month ago. You had Russian forces here and the Ukrainians had achieved this incredible success. You see this penetration into where the Russian forces were. So that was a good news story. So the Ukrainians had a choice. What they could do is they could either attack in this direction or they could attack in this direction. The Russians have all along indicated that this was their objective. They wanted to connect Donetsk, Luhansk with Crimea, this land bridge right here. So in the mind of the enemy commander, this is what's most important. So what the Ukrainians did is they did a deception operation and tried to convince successfully that the Russians, that, to convince the Russians that this is where they were attacking. That was not the case, but they did it with fires, they did it with maneuver, they did everything you should do to get into the head of the commander and reinforce his disposition, his thoughts about what you're gonna do. This is a little bit of arcane military stuff here. But what they did is they faked here and they did their primary attack here. So this is what Ukraine looked like a month ago. This is what it looked like yesterday. This incredible success in this area because of the operational initiative of the Ukrainians. It's quite phenomenal. But Spider, the Russians were completely caught off guard. Right, but, but Spider, was it really a feint? Is it fair to call it a feint there in the South when you're seeing that Ukrainians are now advancing against Russians in Kherson? I mean, there's story after story about the Russian front potentially on the verge of collapse there now. Perfect question. What you cannot do is conduct two major efforts at the same time when you really don't have the kit, you don't have the manpower. So what the Ukrainians did is put the primary effort up here. Now they're putting a primary effort up here, uh, down here in the Kherson area. And this is where the Russians are now at risk. The Ukrainians are holding here and they've diverted most of their forces down here. So what you see now, let me get down to the Kherson area. This is what it looked like a month ago. Biana, this is what it looks like today. Again, let me highlight that this area in here, the Russians are on the other side of the Dnieper River. This becomes a challenge for the Russians because they can't resupply and those forces are potentially isolated. Yeah. This is what's happening on the battlefield. Yeah, watch that space. Literally, watch what's going on in Kherson. See how quickly the Ukrainians are able to move, if they're able to move. Spider, always great to see you. Major General James Spider Marks, thank you. Thank you, folks.